Well, welcome to this service of morning prayer. I'm glad you're able to be with us today. And this is on Wednesday, the 16th of December. So uh, we're well on in Advent and nearing Christmas time. If you'd like to follow the words, you can uh, click on the link in the description below or follow on the Church of England daily prayer app. And our psalm this morning is Psalm 75 and our scripture is 2 Thessalonians 1. Okay, so I'm going to be uh, doing the uh, liturgy from, for the prayer and John's going to be doing the readings. So let's, uh, let's begin. O oh Lord, open our lips, and, and our, our mouth, mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that, that we, we may behold, behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us, to dispel the lingering shadows of night. And as we look for your coming among us this day, Open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, God Father, for... Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. Well, the night has passed and the day lies open before us. So let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So we come to our psalm. John's going to read, and he's going to read from the message. Yeah. Psalm 75. We thank you, God, we thank you. Your name is our favourite word. Your mighty works are all we talk about. You say, I'm calling this meeting to order. I'm ready to set things right. When the earth goes topsy-turvy and nobody knows which end is up, I nail it all down. I put everything in place again. I say to the smart Alex, that's enough. To the bullies, not so fast. Don't raise your fist against high God. Don't raise your voice against rock of ages. He's the one from east to west, from desert to mountain. He's the one. God rules. He brings this one down to his knees, pulls that one up on her feet. God has a cup in his hand, a bowl of wine full to the brim. He draws from it and pours it, drained to the dregs. Earth's wicked ones drink it all, drink it down to the last bitter drop. And I'm telling the story of God eternal, singing the praises of Jacob's God. The fists of the wicked are bloody stumps. The arms of the righteous are lofty green branches. Glory to the, the Father, Father and, and to, to the, the Son, Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. So we come to our scripture, which is 2 Thessalonians 1. And again, it's from the message translation, which I love this translation. I think it puts it sort of in today's uh, language. I, Paul, together with uh, Silas, who was also known as Silvanius, and Timothy, greet the church of the Thessalonian Christians in the name of God our Father and our Master Jesus Christ. Our God gives you everything you need, makes you everything you are to be. You need to know, friends, that thanking God over and over for you is not only a pleasure, it's a must. We have to do it. Your work is growing phenomenally. Your love for each other is developing wonderfully. Why, it's only right that we give thanks. We're so proud of you. You're so steady and determined in your faith, despite all the hard times that have come down on you. We tell everyone we meet in the churches all about you. 
All this trouble is a clear sign that God has decided to make you fit for the kingdom. You're suffering now, but justice is on the way. When the Master Jesus appears out of heaven in a blaze of fire with his strong angels, he'll even up the score by settling accounts with those who gave you such a bad time. His coming will be the break we've been waiting for. Those who refuse to know God and refuse to obey the message will pay for what they've done. Eternal exile from the presence of the Master and his splendid power is their sentence. But on that very same day when he comes, he will be exalted by his followers and celebrated by all who believe. And all because you believe what we told you. Because we know that this extraordinary day is just ahead. We pray for you all the time. Pray that our God will make you fit for what he's called you to be. Pray that he'll fill your good ideas and acts of faith with his own energy so that it all amounts to something. If your life honours the name of Jesus, he will honour you. Grace is behind and through all of this. Our God giving himself freely, the Master Jesus Christ giving himself freely. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Well, wow, I just love the words of, of that scripture. Um, it's it's yeah. really encouraging. I always it think is, it's like... It yeah. Is speaking to us. He's speaking to us as a church and us yeah. as individuals as well. Yeah. Although we should, we should get a letter like that every week, if not every day. It would be great. Just, isn't it? You, you yeah. know, thanking us and praising us and encouraging yeah. us yeah. to keep going. Yeah. Well, I think that the gist of what Paul, Silas, and Timothy were saying to the church in Thessalonica. Um, is that love for one another increases in adversity. And I think that's proven right in our experience yeah. during wartime. And in times of this pandemic, there's um, a, we just look after yeah. one another in a way that we yeah, don't. Yeah, genuine, yeah. Uh, genuine. When everything's going okay, you yeah. know, a new sort of uh, care and um, desire to yeah. look after one another it's, just I comes. Think, yeah, for me, it's it's... I know the restrictions are there, but when we we go down to church on Sunday and uh, there's not everybody there that are usually there for obvious reasons and you can understand why, but we do miss them, but we pray for them and we love them. And those that are there, it's great seeing them, seeing each other, mm. even if it's only mm. for a brief moment. We can't talk in church, but we can just, you know exchange a few words outside yeah. but it is uh, it's the fellowship of the church yeah it's just checking everybody's okay yeah. and i think that the churches really throughout you know throughout um the world um at this time that we've had to persevere because we've been there's times when we've been closed down we've had to really persevere and think in it out of the box in a new way yeah, and we've had definitely. to do things definitely. online and yeah you know, make a telephone call or do yeah. um, a FaceTime or a Zoom. Um, so we've had to be, um, in, you know, really inventive in the way that mm. we do church. And I think that all this is evidence um, in in the church, hopefully, in us, the people, because we're the church, it's that God's ways, um, they're right and they're true and we, we still need to get them out to people you yeah. know when we're yeah. not meeting yeah. but um we pray that we'll be counted worthy of the kingdom of god when uh when jesus comes so yeah. um yeah we need to persevere, persevere. so i'm yeah. to that run the race keep run the candle lit the... Yeah, yeah and we're doing <laughs> that in Calvary. yeah we're trying they're very hard yeah, so now we come to our Gospel Canticle, um, which is the Benedictus, and the refrain is, Look towards the east of Jerusalem and see the glory that is coming from God. Shall we do two verses each? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Shall I begin? Yeah. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. 
He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of all to save us from our enemies, from the hands that all that hate us, and to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Right, we come to our time of uh, intercession, our time of prayer. And I'm going to try um, really and pray into some of that scripture uh, that we've we've read this morning. Yeah, I think it's it's right that you should do that. We sometimes we don't pray into scripture. We don't mm. pray the Bible. Mm. You know, we read the Bible, uh, but so you can pick some verses out and then pray on those verses. Actually, speak those verses, mm. pray them out. Mm. So it's yeah. It's well, good. we do say that the, the the Bible says that God's word never returns void. Yeah. Yeah. So if we pray the word. Yeah. in our prayers in any situation it's going to be powerful yeah so let's pray so i pray for the day so father we ask you today to make us worthy of your call on our lives lord in your mercy hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer and we pray for the world and father we ask you to restore your world to be a better place than it was before the pandemic. A place where your values are placed above everything else. Lord, Lord in, in your, your mercy, mercy hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And we pray for the church. And Father, we ask you to fulfil by the power of your Holy Spirit mm. every good purpose and every act yeah. prompted by our faith. Amen. So yeah. that the name of Jesus may be glorified in us and we may be glorified and in him. Lord, Lord in, in your mercy, mercy hear our prayer. prayer. So we say the um, collect for today, which is, O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of, of the just, that at your co second coming to judge the world, we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we say the Lord's Prayer together. So awaited his coming in glory as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So we come to the conclusion of the service this morning. So may the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Thanks for being with us and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.